Edda Booth Mayo, the wife of Professor Leonidas Mayo, was one of the leading roles in preparing Northeast Texas for a change in education, leading the state into a desegregated college system where both African Americans as well as women were able to attend the college from the Starter Foundation. With the support of strong female role models such as Dean Margaret Berry, East Texas State University was proudly a strong motivator for the college systems in Texas to become desegregated entirely, from dormitories being made available to females and followed by sports programs. City and statewide events began to occur that sent a deep-rooted change within Texas to turn the century into a newly formed desegregated education system. I would go home in the summer or whenever I was there, when I was in college. It was so funny because people would say, ask Irma Jean, she goes to college, she knows everything. <laughs> it was such a big deal. Everybody was, oh, she goes to college. Well, you know, that's Miss Thelma's proper child. She's always been proper. <laughs> A news reporter in Northern Texas claims that even though segregation has ended for African Americans and for women, it hasn't completely subsided in Texas for some of our residents. Researchers now say more than 50 years after Brown versus Board of Education, TEA numbers show little progress when it comes to Latino and African American segregation in schools here in Texas. And one of the hardest hit groups, kids learning English as a second language, a group where many are in high poverty, high minority, and low performing schools. It's also a timely issue for Austin, as a new census report this week shows more than one in four Austinites, or 28%, speak a foreign language at home nearly 35% statewide. With a strong international student population continuing to grow every day, while the university has never failed to openly accept each culture, gender, or orientation, there still is some segregation within Texas, as well as other states as the rising population of English language learners within school districts continue to prosper. 